today uh, we will be dealing with uh, the folds and the types of folds which occur in different uh, types of rocks folds are wavy undulations in the rocks which are developed due to certain tectonic forces or shear forces operating from below the earth the various types of folds include symmetrical and asymmetrical folds the type of folds in which the axial plane of the folds is essentially vertical we call them as symmetrical fold and the type of folds in which the axial plane of the folds is inclined they are called as asymmetrical folds recumbent fold the type of fold in which the axial plane of the fold is essentially horizontal isoclinal folds the type of folds in which the axial planes of the folds are parallel and also inclined in the same direction monocline is the type of fold in which the axial plane is initially horizontal but later becomes inclined open and closed folds are classified based upon the thickness of the rock beds throughout the fold if the thickness of the beds is uniform throughout the thickness of the throughout the fold it is called open fold and if the beds are thinner in the limb portions and are thicker at the crest or troughs then they are called closed folds ground water is also a very essential mineral resource present below the earth which is also used for several purposes ground water table is an imaginary layer or surface below the earth which is completely saturated with water zone of aeration is the zone in which the openings or pores in the rocks are completely filled with air zone of saturation is the zone in which the pores or openings in the rocks are completely saturated with water the ground water flows from higher level to lower level and the movement of ground water can be explained in terms of darcy law darcy law is an equation that describes the flow of a fluid through a porous medium this law was formulated by henry darcy based on the results of experiments on the flow of water through the sand beds and uh, which also forms the basis of hydrogeology a branch of earth sciences one important application of darcy law is to analyze water flow through an aquifer an aquifer is a water holding geological formation or rock especially sedimentary rocks which have the property of porosity and permeability some of the good aquifers include sandstone limestone and gravel earthquakes an earthquake is a sudden jerking motion in the rocky shell of earth's crust due to certain tectonic forces operating from deep below the earth earthquakes mainly result due to the movement or displacement of the rock layers below the earth's surface along certain weak zones known as the faults or fractures earthquakes also result due to sudden release of energy or pressure on the surface from greater depths deep below the earth earthquakes also result due to convergence and divergence of tectonic plates or rock layers below the earth's surface 
The most important effects of earthquakes include loss of property and infrastructure, change in the course of the rivers and streams, change in the direction of the flow of rivers, twisting of railway tracks, origin of hot water springs on the surface, destruction of communication and transportation network, frequent occurrences of landslides, and collapse of bridges, dams, and tunnels. In our next lecture, we will be understanding about the landslides and the methods of groundwater exploration along with the different types of dams and tunnels.